Welcome back to The Deep Dive. You know, we're always trying to cut through the noise, sift through the sources, and uh, really pull out those key insights you need. Yeah. Today, we're tackling something I bet hits close to home for, well, pretty much everyone listening. That massive growing pile of documents. Oh, yeah. Physical, digital, it just keeps coming, doesn't it? Exactly. Invoices, warranties, medical stuff, PDFs from the bank, maybe old letters, that utility bill you know you saw somewhere. Uh They just pile up, get scattered, lost in folders. And trying to find that one thing you need, it can feel like, I don't know, a really frustrating game of hide and seek, especially Mm -hmm. right before taxes. Been there. Definitely been there. But what if instead of just managing the chaos, you could actually master it? What if every single document, scanned or digital, became instantly searchable, perfectly organized, maybe even automated? That's the dream, right? Well, today we're unpacking a tool that promises just that. It's called Paperless Ungex. It's open source, and it's really designed to uh, revolutionize how you deal with all those files, a potential shortcut to getting seriously organized. Okay, let's unpack this. What's fascinating here, I think, is just the sheer volume of information we're all juggling every single day. Personal finances, health records, maybe business documents. It's a universal struggle. You really hit the nail on the head, that panic moment when you need something, and poof, it's gone. Right. So the idea of a system like Paperless IX, one that's robust, capable, and importantly, free. Yeah. It's not just nice to have. It feels almost necessary now. We're going to dig into not just what it is, but really why it could be such a game changer for how you handle your digital life. Yeah. Turning that document mess into, well, clarity. Okay, so let's start right at the beginning. What exactly is Paperless IX? Our sources basically describe it as a popular open source document management system, community driven too. And that open source part is key for a lot of people. Transparency, flexibility. For sure. But its main job, it sounds simple, but it's powerful let you digitize, organize, and search all your documents. Really quickly, think scanning invoices, saving bank PDFs, keeping track of years of tax files. Paperless Angus is built to bring order to all of that. And that phrase, digitize, organize, search, it sounds straightforward, yeah. Hmm. But the impact is huge. If we connect this to the bigger picture, like finding any document whenever you need it, That's not a luxury anymore. It's fundamental for just getting things done. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, remember hunting through actual boxes. Yeah. Or endless scrolling through folders, trying to find one specific clause in a contract. Not to remind. Hours wasted. Exactly. Paperless Ang aims to flip that completely. Moving from that reactive R, where is it, to a proactive, yep, got it right here, in seconds. It's not just about saving time, though. It's less stress, making sure you hit deadlines, Mm. just feeling more in control of your own information. Mm. And the open source angle you mentioned, that means you're not locked in. There's a whole community improving it, making it secure. That builds a lot of trust, you know. All right, here's where it gets really interesting. This is the part that makes it so powerful for search the uh, the secret sauce, maybe? Go on. Our sources emphasize this thing called OCR, optical character recognition. Basically, it makes everything searchable. Everything, even like a photo of a receipt. Even that crumpled receipt you scanned ages ago. The OCR tech analyzes the image, pulls out the text, and boom, it's searchable. Like, you typed it yourself. It's pretty wild. That is transformative. Okay. And beyond just searching, the organizing features are really strong, too. You can tag documents with all sorts of keywords. Think invoice, Q3 2023, utility, tax deductible, all on the same file. Flexible. Much better than just folders. Right. And you can group them into categories, sure, but then you can also set up these, like, super smart, automated workflows. Ah, automation. Now you're talking. Imagine new stuff coming in scans, emails, and the system automatically sorts them, tags them, files them away exactly where they belong, all based on rules you set up. So this raises an important question, really, for anyone listening. How much time are you spending right now just manually digging through documents? What could a system like this, with strong OCR, actually unlock for you? Good question. Because the OCR. It really is a game changer. It turns what's basically just a picture of words into actual usable data. Think about it. An auditor needs a receipt from five years back instead of digging through boxes. Which is my nightmare scenario. Right. You just type maybe Q3 2018 office supplies into Paperless and X and bang, it's there instantly. Even if it was originally a scan note or finding that one critical line in a long scan contract, 
OCR makes sure nothing stays hidden from your search. It's about efficiency, but also reducing risk. Makes sense. And then you add the organization on top. Tagging, like you said, is way more powerful than rigid folders. A single document can live in multiple contexts, invoice, tax, project alpha, all at once, searchable by any of them. Yeah, that's way better. And the automation piece. That's where it goes beyond just managing files to actively handling them for you. You set rules, like if a document has Amazon and invoice in the text, automatically tag it shopping and receipt, maybe file it under purchases. Okay, that's pretty neat. It drastically cuts down the manual work for recurring things, saves so much time and frankly, brain power. It makes handling documents less of a chore and more of an invisible, intelligent process running in the background. Okay, so I know what some people might be thinking now. This sounds incredible, but what's the catch? Right. There's usually a but. And the sources are clear on this one. Paperless Nix is self-hosted. Now, that term might sound a bit technical, maybe intimidating. It can, yeah. Conjures images of servers and wires. And the sources do say you'll need a bit of tech know-how to install it. This isn't like signing up for a cloud service online. You're actually running the software yourself on your own machine. Usually using Docker, right? Or maybe on a home server. Exactly. Docker is mentioned a lot. It packages things up nicely. Or, yeah, setting it up directly on a server you run at home. But I think it's important to frame this not just as a hurdle, but maybe as a deliberate choice. An investment, sort of. Take some effort up front, sure, but the payoff in control and ownership is potentially huge. What's fascinating here is precisely that trade-off you just described. A bit of initial setup effort, maybe a learning curve, in exchange for complete ownership and control over your entire digital archive. Which is different from how most cloud stuff works. Totally different. When we say self-hosting, we mean your documents live on your hardware, your server, your computer, maybe even a little Raspberry Pi, not on Google's or Dropbox's server somewhere else. Subject to their rules and prices. Exactly. Subject to their terms, their privacy policies, potential price hikes, you name it. With paperless MechX, you control the access, the security, where the data physically is. That's massive for privacy. Okay, but what about that tech know-how? Let's talk Docker for a sec. Is it super complicated? It simplifies things a lot, actually. Think of Docker like getting a pre-built box. Inside that box is paperless snakes, all its software parts, everything it needs. You just kind of plug that box into your server, usually with a few simple commands, and it runs. So you don't have to manually install all the fiddly bits? Right. Yeah. It avoids a lot of the complex setup and potential conflicts with other software you might be running. Mm -hmm. It makes it much more accessible for people who aren't you know, professional system administrators. Okay, that helps. Of course, there is still a learning curve. You need to understand Docker basics, maybe manage a simple home server, and you're responsible for updates, security. Yeah. You become your own mini IT department in a way. Right, the responsibility shifts to you. But for people who really value owning their data, who want to avoid those endless subscription fees from cloud services, and who like being able to tweak their system, that initial investment in learning and setting it up, it pays off for years. It really empowers you to be the guardian of your own information rather than just handing it over. So let's fast forward. You've done the setup. You've climbed that initial hill. What's it actually like using it day to day? What does this all mean for, you know, your actual operations or just your personal archive? Yeah, the payoff. The source material is pretty direct here. It says once it's up and running, it's super efficient and secure. That sounds like the goal state. Definitely. You're not just getting a digital filing cabinet. You're getting some pretty robust features, things like specific user roles. That seems important if multiple people use it, right? Absolutely critical. Imagine giving your accountant read-only access just to tax documents or maybe your partner access to household bills, but not your work stuff. That granular control is key for security and privacy in a shared setup. Yeah. And then backups, always crucial. Non-negotiable. Paperless Nix apparently has built-in options for setting up automatic backups. So your documents are safe if like our hard drive dies or you accidentally delete something important. Peace of mind right there. You right. need that redundancy. And the last piece they highlight is integration, connecting it smoothly with scanners and email. That sounds like it makes getting new documents in much easier. Makes the whole workflow seamless. Scan something, it appears in paperless. Forward an email with an important PDF, the system grabs it. It feels like it removes a lot of the friction. Exactly. All these things together, the efficiency, the security features, the smooth intake, it really points to long-term value. For productivity, sure, but also just 
feeling less stressed about your paper trail. That phrase, super efficient and secure, really does nail the long-term benefit for someone who commits to this. Super efficient. That's real time saved. Hours back in your week, less mental clutter. You mentioned the tax example. Imagine that freelancer's dreading tax time. Now with everything tagged and searchable, maybe quarterly filing becomes a quick 10 minute job instead of a weekend headache. That's tangible. Then the secure part. In today's world, data breaches are everywhere. Keeping your sensitive documents safe is vital. User roles, like we said, are essential for controlling who sees what. And those backup options, that's your safety net. You can configure it to backup automatically to another drive, maybe even encrypted cloud storage you trust. It gives you that crucial redundancy and recoverability. And the smooth integration with scanners and email. That just lowers the barrier to getting stuff into the system. It becomes part of your flow, not an extra chore. Less friction means you're more likely to actually use it consistently. So yeah, ultimately, it's a really robust free toolkit for anyone serious about getting their digital house in order. It offers efficiency, control, and that all-important peace of mind for your documents. Okay, so that's our deep dive into paperless Linux. Let's quickly recap. We're talking about a powerful, free, open-source system for managing all your documents. Uh -huh. It uses that magic OCR tech to make everything searchable, even scans. It has great organizing tools like tags and automation. Plus, it connects with your scanner and email. The catch being the self-hosting part. Right. The catch, or maybe the feature, depending on how you look at it, is that it's self-hosted. You need a bit of technical comfort, probably using Docker or running a home server to get it set up initially. Makes a little effort up front. But once you do, the payoff seems to be huge efficiency, solid security, and complete control over your own data. It really could be revolutionary for how you manage files. Definitely something to look into if you're serious about organizing your digital life, whether that's personal stuff, small business files, or your family archives. Which brings us to a final thought, maybe a question for you listening. In this world where more and more of our important information is purely digital, how much value do you personally place on truly owning that data? On having complete granular control over your critical documents yourself, rather than just trusting them entirely to third-party cloud services with their own terms and conditions? It's a fundamental question about data ownership and a choice that a tool like Paperless Analytics really puts right back into your hands. Something to think about.